What is up guys? Wraith here, Great Bearded Gaming Society. Picking up where we left off at the Minotaur, well, almost picking up where we left off at the Minotaur Slavers. I had, last time when I was logging out, I was like, oh, we'll call a video and I'm just going to sit here and farm these guys for a while. But as you can see, we did not get a whole lot done, unfortunately, basically because somebody decided to come in and jump my camp. Now... I'm not typically one for a lot of complaints and drama and all that other happy jazz, and I'm not going to list any names or any of that jazz, but based there, their excuse was is I wasn't killing them fast enough, therefore I couldn't hold the camp. So it's a little bit frustrating, honestly, because I've been killing, like I said, the two in the front. It's just been a good cycle for me to fight one, stop, med, heal up, get all my stuff back, fight another, and just kind of go back and forth. And, you know, again, they just immediately, they walked up. I was very polite. It's like, hey, guys, you know, I'm already here. And they're like, well, there's mobs up. So, you you know, and I'm like, I don't even want to be, don't want to have a, an argument over a spot. So I just, just logged out. So jumping back in, going to try to pick up where I left off. So far, we've been doing pretty good. We've been working on our two-handed hammer as well to try to get a little bit more, uh, a little more aggressive, I would say, in our, our combat tactics. The shield is definitely amazing for adding for the armor class and, and giving us the little bash, but we do not hit anywhere near this hard when we get a decent hit with this little hammer. You know, we're hitting in the in the 20s pretty good. As soon as we get our strength buffs on, we're hitting even better than that. So, going to kind of press forward there, like I said, just kind of a, a check in, and then we're going to try to try to hold the slavers down. Like I said, we've been doing pretty good. I'm hoping that as we... Maybe stretch the levels a little bit, get a little bit stronger. Then maybe we'll be able to basically take all four of them, right? Just kind of one right after another without quite having to stop as much as we've had to to heal up. But we're going to hang out here for a little while. We're going to beat up on some Minotaurs. We're going to chase them around. And we'll check back in here in a bit, guys.
All right, guys, we have managed to pick up our level. We are level 13. We ran back to Felwith basically really quick just to mostly check our training situation, make sure everything was good, everything was on the up and up. We've done a really good job of catching up our two-handed blunt. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not obviously quite where our slice is, but it's pretty close. We're catching up pretty well. I was also trying to make sure there was nothing else we were supposed to pick up yet. And it doesn't look like it. We don't have the next actual trainable until 17 when we get Perry. So let's see. We can technically put some training points there, but at this point it's just not worth it. So we will just leave that alone. But we did pick up our level. We made a horrible mistake in not paying attention to who we were selling our stuff to. So we actually managed to basically have our profits because we've gotten a couple of the Minotaur battle axes. Of course, we hold on to one for ourselves for right now. Um, but wasn't paying attention. Got a hurry to sell them, sold them to some Wood Elves. Instead of the High Elves, I have better High Elf faction. The High Elves give me three plat. The Wood Elves give me like a plat and a half. So kind of sucked that I wasn't paying attention there. However, like I said, we did pick up level. We kept things moving back along. I will most likely try to run back, honestly, to that spot and see... You know how we how we do there it's, it's a relatively safe spot like i said we got um we got camp jacked at one point in one evening during um you know what would be considered more prime timey hours so a little disappointing there and that uh like i said uh, when i was pulling back pretty far maybe they didn't see that i'm not sure what it was but either way it's you know We've run into it a couple of times now that the servers have merged. There's more people. Some of the zones are just super way busy. But either way, you know, a successful couple of days. Like I said, this, is, this video has been broken apart a couple of days apart as we're, you know, right before surgery, right after surgery, kind of rehabbing a little bit. But we should be mostly past all of that now. Um, we've been home, been recovering. All that's great. Thank you to the few folks that sent out the, the well wishes and everything. I really appreciate that. Uh, the surgery went well. A nickel-sized bone fragment was pulled out from behind my left patellar tendon. Uh, the rupture wasn't as bad as they originally thought, so we didn't even have to do anchors or any bad stuff like that, which is awesome. So the rehab should be super fast, and I'm actually already able to sit kind of under the table for a little while now. So pretty good shape. Hopefully videos will start rolling back out again here pretty soon. Uh, again, you know, if you like what we're doing here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're running the challenge yourself, what kind of combination did you get right out of the out of the gate how many lives do you have left we'd love to hear about it down below as well as any other potential action and adventure that you might think we, we can try out but until then i think it's a great time to call it a good night hope everybody had a great one and we will see you guys next time